people and welcome back to me, the new guy for after a uh, uh, inexcusably long absence. Um, I'm back playing uh, Sid Meier's Alien Crossfire, a planet cult conquering the world rather rather handily. Um, I did I did debate whether to um, enough of the introductions. Let's onto the gameplay now. Straight into the gameplay. Did debate whether to automate these formers because. I realise it takes up an inordinately large amount of uh, gameplay, but they just do such a poor job. Having said that, I have almost finished the game, so um, what's the hotkey to automate? Shift and A. Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah, you can wait there. You can. You can do something a bit more aggressive. It's like that. Uh, shift in A, shift in A. That'll be the, the third time that I built the Super Collider in this one game. It's been, it's been very frustrating. Um, I've actually done all this before. I can't remember what I did here. But, um, I can't help it. I can't help but control my phone because I just know that the computer does such a bad job. I mean, especially in these areas that haven't been fully developed yet. Okay, I'm going to do it. Actually, that's not a bad move. Maybe they're, maybe they're better than I thought they were. Hmm. Um, so, I, I figured I might talk about something other than what's going on on the screen uh, for a number of these oh. uh, videos huh. what is that? oh it's a probe team god it's been so long since I've played this game I say so long it's been a matter of months but I've got a very poor memory I seem to recall. I seem to recall being able to take that with just the sheer number of um, firepower. I've seen. Um, I think uh, what I could talk about uh, was to finally settle on a sentence to begin with. I could talk about YouTube. That's that's something we've all, by by the very nature that we're all here, have a common interest in. I thought it might be. Uh, it might be nice. You might uh, actually go and do a full video uh, planned and everything on my other channel where you can sort of see my face if you so choose. Um, that was a poor judgement. To actually, actually produce videos where you know you can see who's talking at you. I realised that I just don't I have the... Uh, I have a face for radio, a voice for... Um, Newspaper reporting and the writing style to keep my opinions to myself. As I humorously, humorously put it. And what I wanted to talk about is just um, uh, YouTube. Yeah, you might have noticed that way too when you observant, uh, you'll notice that I've actually had this YouTube account since two, October two thousand and six. And one of the a crying shame is I've done nothing really with it since September last year, um, which means I um, that's like a, a lot of wasted opportunity. No, go away. In terms of potential, I don't know, uh, community. Um, 
Yeah, potential for community collaboration. If you're going to the whole idea of a YouTube community, which I, I do, as a matter of fact. I, I never I never went into this with anything other than getting a few comments, a uh, few views, and forming a sort of uh, a conversation of sorts. Uh, maybe if there's more, a few, few more video responses and other uh, Let's Plays, I'd be able to get a, uh, get a nerdy conversation going in a sort of vast collective. Um, but I've kind of missed the boat on that one. And uh, what I could talk about is just how much YouTube has changed since its inception in 2005. There's plenty of videos on there from uh, YouTubers who've been on here, been on here longer than I have, and know more about this than I do. So you can always just uh, watch their videos. Um, just <laughs> search for changes in YouTube. I'm sure you get a whole host of. In fact, if you just type in YouTube, I'm sure you get a, a thousands of videos that just talk about that kind of thing. Because what, what's uh, what's uh, a more common interest amongst YouTube users than YouTube? And I guess the, the changes that have uh, been brought about by um, since 2005 has been monetizing of YouTube. And they realised that since its inception um, in 2005, it was a it was a loss-making uh, organisation. It, it struggled to make a profit, and I think they've fixed that now. But at what cost? Okay, it'll get a bit little, little dramatic, perhaps. But um, is, it, is the idea? I don't think um, monetizing was perhaps. I don't know. It, it's, it's interesting. It, it meant that people could, that, or every, every, every users and not corporations could make money out of uh, YouTube and Google would make a bit of money, and therefore it wouldn't be a loss-making enterprise, and therefore under the. Uh, Rules of the free market eventually fold, so it's, it's the survival that has been been saved. But um, a lot of people go onto YouTube, uh, make videos uh, with the express intention of getting a lot of subscribers, subscribers, a lot of views, and from that monetizing the videos and um, getting rich. And it kind of takes the community spirit out of it uh, if. You're watching a video and you think at the back of your mind, this person's only doing it to make money. Uh, let me make clear that's not the case with these videos. Uh, most most fundamentally because this, I'm, I'm playing with copyrighted material. Um, copyrighted to, I, any, any money that I made from these videos would probably go straight to uh, Sid Meier's or Fireaxis or something like that. I wouldn't get anything and then probably uh, get in, uh, in trouble with some kind of copyright infringement. So at a legal level, I didn't want to do it, but at a more esoteric level. As I say, I, I came on here for the community aspect. Uh, I sort of like the idea of talking while playing games, and then people can come into my talking while playing games, and perhaps post video responses as I'm playing similar games, um, or just sort of commenting on my gameplay, or saying, you know, showing what their ideal gameplay situation would be. What I could do, I suppose, is that the every save game I could sort of. No, that might be, might be a bit much. If I actually put a, a link up to download the actual save game file, um, there could be um, a community effort to play the same game. That might be a bit much. Ooh. No, I'm not interested. And I guess, um, yeah, I like I like playing games. I like talking. So the idea it's a perfectly natural phenomenon to talk while playing games and then put it on the internet. Uh, I just wish I'd done it sooner uh, because that lo that lost six years um, from two thousand six to well, no, no, five and a half years. To be fair, is uh, five and a half years where I wasn't. Um, making videos and if it was just um the time when i wasn't sort of engaging in the youtube community um i can't help but feel i may have missed the boat because uh, back in the day when in, when i started my account the community was a lot smaller um a lot cozier people weren't in it for the right reasons because there was no money to be made in it 
even, even for YouTube. What are we doing? And um, it would have had a nicer feel to it, but that's kind of gone. It's the saturated market, uh, especially the, the Let's Play market, and also vlogging is kind of a bit overdone now as well. People, the successful vloggers have been at it for years and have sort of honed their technique to a uh, to a very professional level. Um, I don't know if wondering what I who uh, who I watch when I uh, when I um, not playing videos, uh, not making videos. Um, I'm uh, quite a, quite a big fan of uh, the Vlog Brothers, uh, Hank and John Green. I find them eminently watchable and very entertaining, and I, I rather quite enjoy watching uh, uh, Hank games. Um, Specifically, uh, John playing FIFA. Even though I've got no interest in FIFA, I never, whenever I played it, I always go for the bad team so I can blame them and not my lack of console skills on my poor performance. Um, but I find it's it, it does a very good commentary style where instead of actually talking about the game itself, he just talks about uh, various aspects of, of uh, his life or or what he thinks and various opinions. And because he's an interesting person, uh, it all works quite well. I don't think I'll be able to do that because I've not got... And I'm not very interesting. <laughs> uh, so I like, I like the Vlog Brothers. Um, I like uh, CGP Grey, I think it is. Well, it might be CP Grey. The, the G might be the Grey part. I can't remember. But he makes some very good videos explaining... Uh, uh, various things. He's got, he's got a good style about him. He's uh, very clear and concise. Um, and his animations are always quite fun to watch. Um, who else? Uh, I get most. I get lots of my uh, quite an American politics buff, uh, despite the fact that I'm not American. I like watching the the Young Turks. They do very comprehensive and very regular updates on um, American politics. I'm just thinking through my list of uh, subscribers now. I only recently discovered uh, Charlie McDonnell, uh, Charlie is so cool like, who apparently is huge. Uh, he got a million subscribers back a few years ago and has been had wide coverage, even with sort of more traditional media, uh, hugely popular. And I didn't discover him until a couple of months ago. Which shows how oblivious I was, even though I had an account, completely oblivious to the YouTube community. Um, which is rather sad, really. Had I paid more attention, I could have uh, discovered these kind of things. And uh, uh, what, who else am I subscribed to? Uh, Bryce Ulf, uh does some very good Let's Plays. I do. I I enjoy. Uh, when did, how did I start? I watched him play uh, Civilization 2. He was that, that was good to watch, and that's kind of what inspired me to start making uh, um, let's play videos of my own Civilization type games. Oh, that's, that's mine! I'm trying to bombard my own cities. Um, who else? I think he's. I don't watch a lot of his older games, probably because I'm not old enough to enjoy some of the more basic ones. Um, this is a long turn, it's taken 15, almost 15 minutes to get through just one series of, of uh, things. Uh, Quill18, he does some good good um, talk throughs and he talks more about, this is games are perhaps more modern so I'd, I watch him play Civilization 4, Civilization 5, I enjoyed his Tropico ones, uh, Tropico f 3 and 4, and he did some good uh, uh, I, I like him, I like him play, watching him play uh, Europe, uh, the Paradox Games, uh, Europe, Universalis 3, and Crusader Kings 2, which I haven't got, but I'd be quite interested to get. Um, he's pretty interesting. Uh, I suppose we'll go into this more detail, but we'll come to the end of the video now. If you've, uh, you comment on your sort of, who, who you're subscribed to and who you're 
their favourite uh, Let's Players are or other sort of vloggers are. And I'd, I'd, I'd be interested to know what you think. Who do you, who do you watch when you're not watching me? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, let me know. Um, that's what I that's what I feel about YouTube. I might go into more detail. I certainly will go, go into more detail on my other channel once I finally find some batteries for the camera. And uh, join me again next time when I'll actually conquer more cities. I'll actually get into the whole conquest thing next time. It'll be more visually stunning. Um, and I'll if you if you got anything I want to talk you want me to talk about, I'll be happy to do so. Um, I might go into more detail next year about that. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, see you again next time.